Thank you, Audrey. Uh, again, I would also like to thank uh, both Rotary Clubs for uh, allowing us to do this and our sponsors. It's uh, not often that we get to get together and, and talk to our legislators and uh, get the chance to learn what's going to happen uh, before it happens. Uh, today they're going to, I hope, give us their ideas of what next year is going to look like as far as legislative action. And uh, hopefully we'll have input today and let them know. And I say hopefully because one of the things that I want to make sure that uh, I pass on to everybody is that these folks have a tough job. Let's face it, uh, who, who in this room wants to jump up and say, I want to pay more taxes? Uh, yeah. But what are we going to do if we're going to improve our roads? What are we going to do if we're going to improve education? If we're going to improve all this stuff, sooner or later, somebody's going to have to pay for it. And these people, and I, and I want to stand up and say, I'm very proud of these people because they do everything they do with a balanced budget. We can't say that about our federal government, but we can not say that about the state of Georgia. And that's tough. You know how hard that is to do everything they do and maintain a balanced budget? I'm very proud of these people. They work very hard for us. We need to support them because they're going to have to make some tough decisions this year. And if we're not behind them and we don't support them, how are they going to get this stuff done? So it's going to take every one of us standing up. And we may not agree on the way we want to do it, but we all have to agree that it's got to be done. And if we can agree on that, then we can find a way to make it happen. And, and these guys are in the forefront. They're going to lead the way. They're going to lead the fight to get this stuff done for us. I think transportation is probably the number one issue on our plate this year. That's my opinion. I, I hope it's theirs. Uh, another thing that I'd love to see down the road is I'd love to see some money in the budget for Invest Georgia. We're losing businesses every year to other states because we haven't funded that project. I'm not sure where they're going to find the money. That's their challenge. But I support them, and I hope you do too. And I could stand up here for another 20 minutes and talk about all this stuff that's near and dear to my heart, but I'm not. You didn't come here to listen to me. Um, so I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce to you Part of our de delegation this year, uh, State Senator-elect Ellis Black, uh, State Representative Amy Carter, State Representative Dexter Sharper, and unfortunately, uh, we have a couple of people that couldn't be with us today, and that's Jason Shaw and John Corbett. They both had conflicts and could not be here, but they really wanted to be, and they expressed a huge interest in doing this uh, next year if we do it again. And I haven't seen him. Is Tim Golden in the room? I, I didn't see him come in, but I did want to take at least a moment. I know he's a short-timer, uh, but he has been up in Atlanta for years taking care of us, and I uh, just wanted to take a moment to uh, say a big thank you to Tim for all the work you've done, and we do appreciate it. Uh, having said that, I'd also like to introduce Michael Lee. He's going to be the moderator today to ask questions of these folks. So, Michael, if you want to take the stand, thank you. 